Hello, I'm Sean Cudmore. I work as a web developer on the Rational Requirements Composer team. Today I'd like to show you the new module preferred artifact type support that appears in release 406. Before getting into the demo, I just wanted to point out these two links you might want to visit for further details. The first thing I'd like to demo is the type system changes. We've now got six new heading type icons thanks to Connor Hendley from our team. But the big change for the type system is that you can now specify the preferred module content for a module-based artifact. And this field enables you to specify the artifact types that you prefer to work with for modules of that type. And in the module editor, we surface these preferred artifact types in three different areas. In the blue Create button, in an open rows inline editor toolbar, and in a rows edit menu. This last one was done by Patrick Danford. Let me demonstrate that now. We'll create a new test artifact. I'm going to change it to a module based type. As soon as I do this, we'll notice that a new field appears called Preferred Module Content. I'm going to be lazy here and pre-populate it with artifact types that appear in a different module. And I'm going to uh, also add two more artifact types to that. And finally, I'll reorder it just a little bit. The ordering is important because it's, as I mentioned, surfaced in three other areas of the product. So we've now got five preferred types for this module. I'm going to save it and I'll create a, uh, an artifact based on this. Create a test artifact based on a new type we just defined called test. And I'll create my first row in there. So here's the first area where the preferred types are surfaced. We've now got this uh, type section. Um, in here we can promote and demote or change the type. Uh, promote and demote um, don't make sense at the moment because this is my first row. So I can change it to any of the preferred types or if I'm unhappy with those I can change it to one of the type, any, any old type here and specify what kind of heading this to use. So I'll just turn this into a feature. And I'm going to tab out to commit this. And I'll turn on uh, the artifact type column so that we can see that that actually took place. The second area where we surface the preferred types is these first two sections here. I'm going to create um, a heading row now. And rather than invoke uh, the create artifact dialog, as we see here, we're doing it inline. The third area where we're surfacing the preferred types are here. I'm going to change this now into a business goal. And just as I did earlier, I can, if I'm unhappy with the preferred types, I can specify one from here. And the last thing, our last area where preferred types are surfaced is when I do control H, I'm now toggling the kind of row. So I was in a normal row, and I'm going to try to switch it to some kind of heading row. Where if I'm in a heading row, now it's showing me the normal rows. And there's one additional change for surfacing the types for the headingness of the types, and that's here. We're now showing a second column in this dialog. So if I create, a, if I add that type or that artifact, we, we know that it's going to be a heading. So that's it. We just covered all of these things. Thanks for watching.